This tutorial is to show you how to use the unsteady state wellbore simulator USWS with black oil PVT properties. We want to put in flow control devices on the liner to control or restrict flow between the outer pipe and the reservoir and also to put a choke between two segments of the same pipe so that flow along the pipe is restricted based on the choke flow. If you go to data file builder, I will open up a previously created data file that has no chokes in it. This is a gas well and it's got two pipes in, this, in the description of the well. Display pipe schematic and essentially it's a long horizontal well with a vertical riser section. This is the inner uh, production tubing pipe. So in this particular case, the reservoir is fracked at certain number of positions along the well at different times. So what we have done is we said for that time sequence from 0 0.51, 1.5, 2.5 days and so on, these are the segments that are fracked. So every 10 segments is fracked. So we successfully frack, we're consecutively, consecutively fracking uh, from the Toe of the well backwards every 10 segments, every 10 segments until we get to about 780. So we got about uh, eight, 368 fracks here. And this flex the turn on at different times. The reservoir data is also connected to the segments that are fracked, and they will provide inflow of gas into the liner well and the liner well will collect the liner will collect the produced gas and flow back and you will come up to the uh, production tubing and flow out production tubing and we will uh, take off gas from the top production tubing. So in this case there are no flow control devices. We first run it with no flow control device and off-tech pressure at the production tubing of about 1000 kPa. So when we first run this case, this, we're going to sh give you a comparison between the case without and then the case with the flow control device. So after we run the case, and I've already run it, I will review the results and I will show you the um, pressure and the gas rate flowing into the segment at all times and report at the different times the pipes and the gas and pressure. So at next time we can see at the very point one days the very very first uh, uh, s s frack, very first uh, reservoirs opening up into the uh, 750 this is the gas rate coming in 651 goes all the way up to the to, 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 the, to the end of the production tubing comes up production tubing to the top of the well and we go next time next time until 0.5 days at 0.5 days the second the second uh, frag occurs and it goes up total rate is now reduced but instead of the previous rate, now we are also additioning additional. We have an influx at 140, and the rate increases up to the one. And we go next time. We can select the time to say one day, 1.1 day, 1.1 day. After one day, another frag 130 happens, and so on. So we can see the sequence. And if I were to select report. Uh, for odd times, and we can see this is the, the rate sequence at 0 days up to 0.5 days, and then frag happens at 0.5 days and up to 1 day. So these are the rates, the rates of the wells, and up to, to, to the fourth day, this is the rate of the well. 
Now I've cut and paste, I've cut and paste this, I've edit, copy and paste this to an Excel spreadsheet. So in the Excel spreadsheet, I've, I have uh, copied this information over to an Excel spreadsheet so I can compare with my next run, which is going to be a flow control device run. <coughs> so I'm going to show you how to put a flow control device into the data file. Going back to data file builder, I'm going to open up the case with a FCD in it, and basically it's uh, specifying in the for the for the liner FCD for flow between the pipe and the outer pipe, we use a perfection fraction. So instead of one or point or a fractional number to show the fraction of pipe length is up on the floor, we put a negative number with a device number. So negative two is device number two. And the device data is entered in this flow specification form above. So in this case, I'm putting in a flow control device, device number two, with, it's got two holes, two chokes of diameter 10 mm. The diameter before choke, just for calculation of the choke flow, it can be a fairly large number. Choke discharge coefficient and gas specific ratio. And the rest of the numbers are zero for venturi. So it's not a venturi, it's a choke. So choke number two, device number two has two chokes. Device number one has one choke, and we're going to place device number one as an inline choke in the production string. So the production string is the tubing string. So in this case, where we go from flow between an inner pipe and outer pipe, or from outer pipe to reservoir, we put in the flow control device as a negative number. For production tubing, we have uh, in this case, I've specified a time of three days just to show you what happens. That you can change choke with time. So the inline choke is specified on the segment number. So at time three days, an inline choke is placed between segment and segment one. So for con for controlling flow between segment one and two. And point one it means a decimal number. Point one means Fractional control device number one between this segment and the next. So the segment type can be minus one for a normal segment, but plugged. It can be a positive number one, two, and three for a pump segment, referring to a pump curve. Or if you're referring to a flow control device, we specify point number, point number, so point one, point two, point three for flow control device number one or two or three. So in this case, at time three days, we are saying that we would choke that pipe segment between one and two using a flow control device number one, which is one hole, one choke of that of this particular choke specifications. So we can run this. And if, if we run it, it's fairly quick to run. If you run it, start to run. And it's about probably about a minute to run. So I'll post the output, video output, and resuming the video output, the brand's finish. And if you look at the results of the file, of the run, getting the last report selection. So now we we'll see very first uh, perforation that was perforated before. We now have a flow control device and we're restricting it to 360. Going back to the Excel sheet that I had saved, you can see before we had 651 as the read through the perforation. Now, using the choke, we have brought it down to 360. And next time, if we go to previous time, so next time, the next 0.5 days, we also have the second perforation happening up, opening, and there's the additional read for the second frac stage. So if I go to the three days where 
I had specified the time at which the inline choke is turned on to so three days. This is our target rate, our producing rate. The next time is restricted to 170 days. So the, the inline choke has brought the pressure way down from 7,000 to 1,000 across that choke and restricted rate to 170. And that rate is now prorated back among all the perforations in the horizontal well. If I had to um, uh, select the report and look at the point rates, you can see this is the rate sequence. Yeah, and, and, at, and at approximately three days, the inline choke was put on and a restricted rate. So this is just to show you how to put a liner of choke and also an inline choke in the pipes of the program. Thank you for your attention.